Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be going over how to buy and sell stock on the Webull desktop platform. Before we actually get started with it, it is important to mention that there are many different ways to place a trade within Webull's platform. We're just gonna be touching on a few of them in today's video, but I'll be making a much more focused video later on, specifically going over the active trader inside of the platform for you day traders out there. But jumping right into Webull, we're gonna get started with the stocks page over here on the left-hand side. It's the second tab down from the top. And when you come to this page, when you first log into the platform, your page should look nearly identical to this one. But if there's ever anything you guys would like to add or tweak on this page, you have a lot of flexibility. As someone fairly new to Webull, that's one of my favorite things about their platform. I can pretty much move the tools or widgets wherever I want them, add whatever tools I find most important. It's incredibly customizable. Now, in order to actually add those widgets, all you have to do is come up here to the top right hand corner where those little three lines are at. When you click on that, it's gonna open up a little menu and all you have to do is click on add a widget. Now, unless you're gonna be using these little widgets right here, you're probably gonna be going to all widgets and a little pop-up window is gonna come up and this is gonna give you a whole lot of options. These are all the different gadgets or tools or widgets, whatever you really wanna call it, that you can actually add to your platform. So if you wanted to have order entry somewhere on your screen or the classic trade buttons, this is how you would add it. You would just hit the little plus sign next to it. And then once you add it, you could actually move it around wherever you want it. You could put it to the left of the chart, the right of the chart. Again, it's entirely up to you wherever you want to put it, which is one of my favorite things on here. But in our case, we're going to go ahead and delete this since we don't need it. We already have it on our chart and we're going to go ahead and X out of this. Now, the first thing we're going to start with is the actual trade buttons right here. This is probably the most straightforward way to actually place a trade on this platform. We can see right here, we've got the options to either buy the stock or sell the stock. And all we have to do is click on the button of the action we want to take. So in our case, we want to buy the stock, so we're going to leave it highlighted green right here. Right below that is where we could change the order types. If we wanted it to be a market order or stop, stop limit, we could simply click on that if we wanted to change the order type. In our case, we're going to go ahead and leave it on limit. Just to the right of that, that's where we can put in the number of shares we want to buy. So right now I'm saying I want to buy one share. Maybe I wanted to buy 10 instead. I could go ahead and type in 10 right there, hit enter. Or I could even change this from trading shares to a actual dollar quantity. And if I wanted to buy, let's say $20 worth of woof in this case, I could go ahead and click on those little paper icons. I'm not actually sure what that icon is, but we could click on that and switch it to a dollar sign. And now we're saying we wanna buy $10 worth of woof. Right below that, we can actually set our limit price. Maybe we only wanted to pay $23 a share for it. So we could go ahead and type in 23 in there. And we could also change the time and force. Maybe we wanted this order good until canceled. So if it doesn't fill today, try again tomorrow. If it doesn't fill tomorrow, try it again the next day. And then lastly, we can also change it from EXT yes, if we want it to be good in the extended session, basically the pre and post market. We could either keep that on, so yes, or we could turn it off by saying no. And that's pretty much it. If we actually wanted to place this trade to buy $10 worth of woof at 23, we would just hit buy woof right here. The next tool we could use is actually the active trader over here on the right hand side where it says buy 100 shares at the market price or sell 100 shares at the market price. If we wanted to actually place those trades, we'd simply click on those big, huge green and red buttons right there. Now, another thing we can use from this page is the order entry tool down here in the lower left hand corner. Now, from right here, we could simply hit new order and you're going to see an order ticket pops up down below and it's asking us the same questions as below. What stock are we trading? Woof, which is Petco. What are we doing? We're buying. We're buying 10 shares with a limit price of $24.45. And we would just change these just like before. If we wanted it to be good until canceled, we'd go ahead and change that to GTC. If we wanted it good for the extended session, we'd say yes. And if we wanted to actually place this trade, we'd just hit place order. Now, if we do not want to place this trade, we could simply right click on the order ticket and say delete order. Now, a couple other ways to place a trade from this screen right now is we could simply come up to the chart itself Go ahead and right click anywhere on the chart and say create a new order. That's going to go ahead and throw the order down below in the order ticket window or the order entry window just like we saw it a second ago. And if we delete this out of here, we could also come to our watch list on the left hand side over here and we could right click on a symbol like LCID or Lucid and say create order right below. And just like before, it's saying we want to buy Lucid LCID. We want to buy 10 shares with a limit price of $26.38. Now you should have noticed that the chart did not change to Lucid. We can still see we're still looking at Petco up here, W-O-O-F. So if we want to look at a Lucid chart before we actually place this, we would just come up here to the top where it says search and view in stocks. From there, we would just type in LCID, hit enter on the keyboard. And now we've got a chart for Lucid and all of our other gadgets on the right hand side also changed to Lucid. Now, like I said before, there are a lot of gadgets you could add to the screen, a lot of other ways you could place trades, but those are going to be the most popular on this screen. 
Now the next thing we're gonna to touch on is on the customize page. So come on over to the left and look for a little paintbrush icon and go ahead and click on that. You're gonna see that I've edited my page slightly. I've added the active trade over on the right and I've added a ladder down below. And you can place trades from the screen the exact same way we placed trades on the previous screen. If we wanted to buy with the chart, we could simply right click on the chart, say create a new order. Since I didn't have the order entry widget somewhere on the screen, it just creates a pop-up window. But if I didn't actually wanna use this, I could always click on the three little lines and say, remove order entry to get rid of it. Because on this one, we wanted to focus on the active trader and the ladder over here on the right-hand side. Now this ladder can be customized, but right now we've got the same screen as before. We wanna buy 100 shares with the market price, buy 100 at the ask, sell 100 with the market price, sell 100 at the bid, which is just like we saw on the previous screen. And there's nothing crazy about this. We would simply click on the buttons with the action we wanna take. However, down below the ladder, this one's a little bit cooler. Here we can actually put our mouse where we wanna put limit orders, where we wanna put stops, and put it in order this way. So for example, if we wanted to buy, let's say 10 shares at 25.49, we could just put our mouse to the left of 25.49. If I was to click on that box, I'd be putting in an order to buy 10 shares at 25.49, good for the day. Now, right now, since I don't have this order confirmation box checked, if I were to click there, it would instantly submit the trade. If I do have the order confirmation box checked, if I click on that, it's gonna confirm my order first before I actually submit it. Now what's cool about this ladder is it kind of auto recognizes the type of order you should be using based off the price that you set. So since I'm putting on a buy order and I'm below the current price, it defaults to a limit order. If I go above the current price, you're gonna see that it now defaults to a stop. Kind of auto recognizing the type of order you should be using based off the price that you're selecting. If we go to the right hand side and we say we now wanna sell, you can see it defaults to a limit order. If we go below the current price, you can see it switches over to a stop. Now, like I said before, I am going to make a longer form video specifically about the active trader and the ladder within here, because if you're gonna be day trading, this is probably the fastest way to do it, to go in and out the quickest, but I didn't wanna spend a whole lot of time in today's video going over it. And that about wraps things up for today's video. I hope that answers all of your questions about buying and selling stock on the Webull platform. If you guys have any additional questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them down below in the comments. If you've seen some of my past videos on the channel, you'll know that I mainly trade using the Thinkorswim platform. However, I'm gonna be testing out every trading platform out there and posting tutorial videos as I learn more about them. Eventually, way later down the line, I wanna post a comprehensive video showing which platform is best for options, day traders, uh, long-term investors, and I might end up changing my mind about Thinkorswim being the best platform out there. But again, I hope this helped. Don't forget to hit the like button on the way out and I'll catch you all in the next video.